Man before. Yeah. I hear he's pretty good and has some fans. Yeah, I hear he's got the proper pronunciation of his surname right on his stream. At least the link to the website. So, like, he forces everybody to learn how to pronounce Schenkhuizen correctly. I'm not even going to try it. I'll embarrass myself. I probably said it wrong, but yeah, <laughs> anyways. We have Mr. Schenkhuizen spawning at the uh, top left position here on uh, Belshir Vestige, already putting down the pylon. His opponent is going to be the Pink Protoss Argus at the opposite side of the map. And of course, all of the games that we're casting today are from the round one of the DSCL individual leagues. In other words, round of 64, we do have 64 players that made it into uh, the main tournament. Top eight that come out of this uh, clash will make it to the live event June 1st. Uh, I've heard good things about that. Yeah, I did. I even, I, I, I think I even saw a, uh, a teaser video somewhere. I, I'm sure I saw that somewhere too. Yeah. And it did tease me. It teased me with good things. Yeah, my nipples were so hard, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! I have no, listen, listen. I like, like you loaded me for a for a brilliant strike there. Like I couldn't have passed that up. <laughs> To be fair, I was like, open goal, open goal. I felt a bit mean for trolling you earlier, so I was like, I'll set, I'll set myself up for one. Uh, anyway, PvP. One of them's going to get Void Race. That much is for sure. Well, he can. Uh, it, it is a possibility. I mean, it's, it's not certain, but it is true that Stargate play is really, really popular with uh, with uh, Proros players in this matchup right now. Very quick uh, second guess coming out of Argus. And there must have been a pause here, so, uh, you know, one of these guys... Or they type really fast, or one they or type, the other. Yeah. <laughs> but I like, have you seen the Ghost in the Shell movie? The anime? No. It's, it's from a... It's from a um, from future where mostly everybody is getting cybernetic implants and enhancements. And one of these guys at the police station, he just comes to the keyboard and just places his hands just above the keyboard and then all his fingers like sprout additional 10 fingers each like little ones you know and he's like he's got like this intricate web of little fingers with fingernails just just hitting outrageous amounts of keys that is going to give me nightmares no it actually looks really cool you should you should see that movie. you should you should definitely again see I'll, that. I'll make a little note right now and uh, I'll give it a watch, because it'll be switched. Anyway, we should come back to the game, because the exciting things are starting to happen. We've got Mothership Cores on both sides. We've got Second Gateways on both sides. We've got Double Gases on both sides, both of which are mining with six probes. So these two copying each other. And if you're going to copy someone, Grubby would be a good person to mimic. Yeah, Grubby is going for a uh, three gate opening uh, off the back of just one Stalker and a Mothership Core, which is an opening I personally came to like really. It's just that I do it with five probes in gas and not six probes. I kind of stole that build off um, of uh, Root Sage because I love his play. He, he always has good ideas. Um, and uh, Argus, he's just uh, delayed his uh, third gate a little bit. To get uh, to get this expansion up sooner, so Grubby is going to be pressuring, and Argus uh, will have to defend, kind of. He will have to defend pretty significantly because there's a good number of units coming across the map, and Argus he's he's opted for this robotics facility, and getting that robo out is just when you go tech heavy, you need to be very very careful because any counter push is coming, and going for tech while expanding, that is a brave man. Yeah, he is very brave. Um, and, you know, one thing to defend an expansion such as this, if we take a look at how much energy the Mothership Core has, has 100. When this expansion finishes, you can use a uh, Photon Overcharge defense. That's why yeah. you can actually have that third gate delayed. But you should not tack behind this, because the idea is, hey, I can defend with a Photon Overcharge. Oh, nice cancel there. He knows he cannot hold it. And now he will need force fields to hold off that uh, Grubby's army. Nice thing Grubby did, uh, he built a, look at this, Photon Cannon going down in his main. He built a, um, 
uh, a forge before he moved out. That's a really nice move. Uh, it defends you both versus Oracle Harass, Phoenix Harass, and DTs at the same time. And allows you to keep on pressuring. Grabby moves <gasps> the into the base. Time bomb on all the units! Oh my uh. god, that sentry goes down, and that's the key unit that uh, Argus should not have lost. Photon Overcharge activated on the Nexus. Grabby has to pull back, but with subsequent reinforces, he should be able to at least do considerable damage to Argus. Yeah, that was more than enough damage there. Knocking out Mothership Core, a sentry, and forcing the Photon Overcharge. My goodness, that was a good engagement right there for Grubby. Look at his army supply at the moment. He's only ahead by four, which might not seem like much, but just look at what the army is made up of for Argos. If that Immortal got sniped down, which it really easily could, suddenly that army looks very, oh. very less scary. Nice force field there by Argus. Clutch force field, but he is out of energy. He needs to warp in some more sentries, and he does not have the gas for that. Oh no, he queued up another Immortal. Argus, what are you doing? You needed a sentry. You needed to buy time, and another time bomb dropped on all the units. Uh, you know, allowing Grubby to micro to his heart's content without being afraid of being caught out by Zealot Soaker. And this will not last for very much longer. No, the Stalkers running around quite nicely. The Immortals have now been taken out, though. They're the expensive units. They're the units that are going to be doing most of the damage. And now the Zealots can just be cut in for ages. Grubby even getting a pylon up in his opponent's base. The Immortal just popping now. Just survives. That is really lucky. But as we can see, the Mothership Core will finish it off. When was the last time you saw a Mothership Core kill an Immortal? <laughs> That's the first time I saw that, man. GG. That's a GG. GG, GG.